Hello, I am Roosevelt Matthews, and welcome to LUTV Sports Break, where we will discuss interesting sports topics with our panel of sports reporters. The Los Angeles Lakers are a long way from being the old Lake Show that Magic Johnson was used to in the 80s and 90s. With LeBron out west Hollywood swinging, the Lakers haven't seen much sunshine. The team is at the bottom of the Western Conference and recently set a franchise record out with being outscored 42-17 to in the first quarter in a game against the Raptors. The Lakers held a meeting with head coach Luke Walton to discuss the, the, to discuss the rough start. So will the Lakers make a curtain call for the playoffs or will they watch from home? I open this discussion to the panel. Essence. Okay, I got something to say. <laughs> I don't know if LeBron knows this just yet, but this is not the East. You will not make it to the playoffs playing the way he is now. The 28 points that he gives the Lakers does not do anything for them. They're currently 11th in the West. I know you can start um, towards the bottom and kind of work your way up. Mm -hmm. I think if they were to make the playoffs, they would definitely be like the bottom half of yeah. the playoffs. Definitely. And what then you, you got to play the top half, which the go to state warriors and then you're out zion i think they just need some time to build chemistry lebron's there he's trying to I hand agree. the torch over to bringing uh brandon ingram all he has to do is take it so i just think they need, just need a little bit of time yeah. i agree i'll and give them time as well they just got uh tyson chandler who will help them with their defense because i know their defense hasn't been great right now their yeah. defense and is offense terrible too. and they, offense too they're allowing offense 120 too. points per game for other teams that is a terrible defense there's no defense being played at all. And Magic even said he wasn't happy with offense, wasn't happy with defense, wasn't happy with assistant coaches. Yes, and one thing about Magic Johnson in the 90s and in the 80s, they played both sides of the court. Yeah. So, so this they ran the new yeah, they Western ran the Conference, they want to shoot field. threes like the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Everybody thinks they're the Golden State Warriors. It's not happening. You need defense. I agree. I agree. But with Tyson Chandler, I think he'll, he'll bring a different asset to the game, especially with the offensive uh, side of the ball and defensive side of the ball. Grabbing, he's a great rebounder. Um, he grab like 20 rebounds when they played the Phoenix Suns when he was on the when he was on the Suns so I think he brings a good a good uh a, a different look towards the uh to the Lakers too so and I, I think, think they why well the Lakers <laughs> feel like they're conf they have confidence uh to put him in on alongside like Rondo and LeBron they think he'll be a good fit so why do you think he's not gonna I mean, he's, what, 36 years old, trying to get rebounds against these more athletic big men. Like, the big men are the more athletic. They want to but step the big out. Men are, I, wait, 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 wait. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. The big men are stepping out to shoot threes. He can't defend that just as well as JaVale McGee can't defend more athletic big men. Those dudes are a long time from being, like, relevant when it comes to the defenses that need to be but played. But he still but provides defense around the rim. Around the rim, but JaVale McGee can do that. JaVale no, McGee can no. grab rebounds. Tyson JaVale Chandler McGee is has his time. Where he, be, JaVale hmm. McGee has his times where he falls on the floor for no reason. Well, so that's, that's just him being JaVale, JaVale McGee. McGee. He can't control that. He's uncoordinated. If you seven foot three, three, you tripping over your own feet. Three, whatever, you the Lakers, Chandler, whatever the Lakers, whatever the Lakers are doing right now, better. But I mean, they need to gel together. They need a Lakers camp, get along, something. But they're not gelling together. I don't see the other problems besides defense. I don't think putting Tyson Chandler in is a negative. I like they can only learn from that. Does yeah. Tyson Chandler take them from being at like eighth in the playoffs to being like fourth? You never know. You just might. But the, I mean that's honestly, for that's for, us to see, to that's for us to see and that's I think they need a major move. They need something better because they always LeBron's teams always hit the panic buttons when it comes to like the playoffs. When the playoffs come they're like, okay, now we need somebody. LeBron needs somebody right now to say, okay, I'm gonna be the second man I'm going to come up with 20 points a night. I'm going to grab some rebounds. He doesn't have that. What do you think, He Zion? needs it now. I think he has it all. They just don't know which players to use. Like Contavious Caldwell Pope, they put him in there when they can have Josh Hart in. He can provide instant offense. KCP is not playing very good this year. So I just think Luke Walton needs to figure out when to use which players. And they got Michael Beasley yeah. returning back to practice. Back, yeah. yeah, from family problems. I'm glad to see him back. But, I mean, his Michael Beasley doesn't make the team – go from being 11th in the league where they are now to being the playoff team to the 8th. So, so do you think they're going to make it to the playoffs or not? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And Even I hate LeBron? saying this because LeBron can take the any goal? team. Yeah, I know he oh. took Mo Williams and those guys to the playoffs. I don't think that they'll make it to the playoffs because this is not the East. You cannot play from so far behind and think you're going to be 
up with the Utahs and the Houston where they barely I, made it. I don't think where they are right now they can do it, but I bet if they can figure something out and add the players where they need but by, to be. I think by I the think, time they figure something out, I think it's going to be probably too late. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. if they're going to figure something out, it needs to happen in. right now. I think uh, they're going to squeeze yeah. in that, that it's coming six in seventh or eighth. So you think they'll make like the playoffs? So you think they'll make the playoffs? I don't sure, think they'll make, the they'll make the playoffs. I doubt it. I doubt I don't it. Know. I, I cannot see an NBA where LeBron James does not make the playoffs. That's I, unrealistic. We couldn't I mean, see an NBA where LeBron went to the Lakers neither, but it'll happen. If he doesn't step up, if somebody doesn't take the second rap. I see it as this. LeBron hasn't seen these faces. The Lakers hasn't seen LeBron's face. So it's like new to everybody. So I feel like once they get that team chemistry built up together and once they, you know, find where they where they fit the niche, like with the coaches to the players and the players to the players, I think then everything will cohesively work together. But that's it for our sports panel. Thank you for watching. Tune in to our LU TV Sports Break. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more Lamar University sports. See you next time.